In this video, I'm going to go through an example of using binomial expansion with partial fractions. Now, in the, where it's appearing in the playlist, uh, we've just done partial fractions, but we haven't done binomial expansion. So this is a video to kind of like come back to having looked at uh, binomial expansion. Okay, so. The idea here is that we're going to find the first four terms of the expansion of 3x plus 7 over 2 minus 3x, 1 plus 3x. In its current form, we can't do anything with it. We need to break it up into its partial fractions first. So, 3x plus 7 over 2 minus 3x, 1 plus 3x. It's going to be equivalent to a over 2 minus 3x plus b over 1 plus 3x. So multiplying up by the 2 minus 3x, 1 plus 3x, we're going to get that 3x plus 7 is equivalent to a lots of 1 plus 3x uh, plus b lots of 2 minus 3x. Okay, so... Now choose values of x to knock out these brackets. So if we let x be at 2 thirds, then I can knock out that bracket there. So what have we got here? 3 lots of 2 thirds, which is 2, plus 7 is 9. And here we've got 3 lots of 2 thirds, which is 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3, so 3a. Three so that means that a must be 3. Now, if I do the same thing in here to knock out this bracket, then x would have to be minus a third. Now, if x is minus a third, we're going to get minus 1 plus 7, which is 6. That bracket's knocked out. Uh, 3 lots of minus a third uh, is 1, so 2 plus 1, so 3, so 3b. Three so that means that b would have to be 2. Okay, so we've got the A and we've got the B. Right, so I can write this as 3 over 2 minus 3x plus 2 over 1 plus 3x. Okay, now from there I'm going to rewrite that as 3 lots of 2 minus 3x to the minus 1 plus 2 lots of 1 plus 3x to the minus 1. Now I've hit another problem. I can't use the binomial expansion with 2 minus 3x because I need it to be 1 plus or 1 minus. So I've got to factor out 2 to the minus 1. So I'm going to have 3 lots of 2, 1 take away 3 halves x to the minus 1 plus 2 lots of 1 plus 3x to the minus 1. So I've got 2 to the minus 1, which is a half. So that's 3 halves, 1 take away 3 halves x, uh, plus, oh sorry, to the minus 1, plus 2 lots of 1 plus 3x to the minus 1. Right. OK. So next stage, I'm going to be going up here, I think. So, next stage is to actually do the expansion. So we've got 3 halves times. Now the expansion of 1 take away 3 halves x to the minus 1. So it's 1 plus n times x plus n minus 1, sorry, n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times by x squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed plus other stuff I'm not interested in. Okay, because I'm going for the first four terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I've got the terms from this expansion, so plus 2 lots of. So we've got 1 plus n times x 
plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 over 3 factorial times by 3x cubed plus a load of other stuff I'm not interested in. Right, so my job now is to simplify all of this, bring it all together. So I'm going to deal with the first bracket first, leave the three halves as it is. We have a 1, we're going to have plus 3 halves x. Um, that will just be 1, uh, so we're going to have plus 9 quarters x squared. That will be negative 1 times a negative, so positive. Um, so positive 27 over 8 x cubed, plus a load of other stuff plus two lots of, one, take three x, uh, that's one, so plus nine x squared. Uh, that's negative one, so take away uh, 27 x cubed, plus a load of other stuff. Right, we're getting there. So, what have we got? We've got the three halves, I could probably do this in one go, so I've got the three halves times 1 um, plus the 2 times 1. Okay, so 7 halves. We've got the 3 halves times the 3 halves, so 9 quarters. And then we've got plus 2 lots of minus 3, so take away 6, so that's minus 15 quarters x. We've got the 3 halves times the 9 quarters, and then plus 2 lots of 9. So that's 171 over 8 x squared. And then finally we've got 3 halves times by 27 eighths plus 2 times minus 27. So minus 783 over 16 x cubed plus a load of other stuff I'm not interested in. Four, right, so that is the expansion. Now, if I was interested in its range of validity uh, for this problem, then if I looked at this here, then the modulus of minus 3 halves x must be less than 1. So that means the modulus of x must be less than 2 thirds. And for this one, we've got 3x modded is less than 1. So mod x has got to be less than 1 third. So if that's 0, the first one's going between minus 2 thirds and 2 thirds. The second one is going between minus 1 third and 1 third. So where do they overlap? They overlap here. That is where they are both true. So the range of validity is the mod x is less than one third for the original question here. Okay? So that's how we can use partial fractions to split it up ready for binomial expansion. Um, it's quite intensive. Uh, and it's very easily prone to errors, okay? So you've got to watch yourself at each stage.